Now with the second molding going up, I want to show you an important point. When I dry fit this, you're going to notice that that material is oversized and is springing into place. That's very important with polyurethane because what a general rule is for every 10 foot of length you have, you want to make sure you're going about a quarter inch longer. So if this happened to be 10 foot long, I want to cut the actual molding 10 foot one fourth of an inch. In other words, you want that molding to spring into place. It seems unusual, but it's a little trick you want to do to make sure when the temperature gets colder and the material starts to shrink, it's got a nice tight seam there that you're not going to get a gap. Along with what we've always talked about is make sure you get your construction adhesive on there. Now you'll see, we'll put this into place. I'm going to spring it. It's going to lay flat. And I'm going to fasten it with fasteners. Polyurethane just tends to lay flat. So as I put the mechanical fasteners in here, you'll see how it flattens out. There you go. That's a good installation right there. Now we're going to put this flat trim on the bottom section here. Here's another thing. I had to do a, a scribe cut. See how nice that cuts and clean? I actually did that with a coping saw and it's not like cutting heavy wood. And I had to even tweak it a little bit with a utility knife so you can get pretty detailed in your scribe cutting by just whittling away and working into those into that cut area. This will dry fit into there. I'm going into place here. You notice it's a little bit long and I'm going to spring it. All right, that fits nicely. And back to where the joint is. I tend to like to go into each area both ways. And I'm probably going to put a screw in down here. And then I'll come down here. And I'm going to work, I'm going to let that center move out a little bit for me. And I'm going to put a screw in at the end. Here again, that's just adding to that spring tension that we want to make sure we're getting on those moldings. I'll work from the ends and work towards the middle. All right, a couple more builds, and we've got this soffit taken care of. This is a little accent treatment. We're going to do a little scribe that's going to go up against that flat trim. And if you look at the end, where I got it right there, here again, there's how I nicely that scribe cut against those logs right there. Very easy to machine and work with. Probably the biggest difference you're going to notice if you install a lot of cedar trim is getting used to overcutting and springing that into place because that's not what you do with wood. You're, you're used to just cutting it flush. Great. So on this last trim, I want to show you a little bit of detail. Here, I had to rip that stock to the width I wanted. If you notice, when you rip the material, there's a raw edge of material. And that's fine, but just make sure if when you're installing that and it's exposed to the sunlight that you're painting that raw edge. And then if you look at the other side that came with the product, it's molded into place. So you will have a wood texture on both edges. It's only when you have to modify the width and you're cutting it through the saws that you'll get that raw edge. All of a sudden, we've got a five build, and that's changed the whole style of this home. But better yet, it's going to be low maintenance. So we won't have to worry about this years down the road. Now you'll notice that there's some glue ooze out that's coming. That's good to have. But the thing you don't want to do is wipe that off. It tends to smear that. I usually let that skin over. It takes about a half an hour. Once that skim's over, you can take a putty knife and clean that joint up much easier and it won't smear the product. Just to wrap it up, you just take a little bit of exterior spackling, fill in those nail heads because I countersunk them a little bit, clean up those joint lines, and then put a final coat of latex paint on there and you're finished. <laughs>